The High Road is dedicated to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, past, present, and future. Meet Keith Warren. As a 30-year veteran of the outdoor industry and devoted conservationist, this outdoor television icon has hunted across America and around the world. Showing you big game, educating outdoorsmen. Yeah, this is good. And uniting all hunters. I'll be signing autographs later tonight. I, I, I want one, I want one. <laughs> That's Keith Warren. And this is The High Road. We're out here today in the Texas Hill Country and it's April Fool's Day. We're gonna see how my 243 Lady Hunter shoots. It's actually designed specifically for women. It's lighter, the cheeks higher up, it's perfect. And we're gonna also see how uh, Mr. Coburn and I shotguns pattern out. Let me tell you a little about this gun. This gun's been a two-year process in the making for Savage. We wanted to make a gun that was specifically made for a woman. We started out with the buttstock. It's actually angled to the shoulder of a woman, so it's a more comfortable fit. The length of pull is shortened, but not as short as a youth. We raised the cheek piece on this gun because a woman's neck is proportionally longer than a man's, so that way the woman does not have to raise her head to actually look through the scope. The grip area is actually shortened because a woman's hand is smaller. It's also thinned out through the whole gun to facilitate her hands. It has the traditional AccuTrigger for safety and adjustability. We use a sporter barrel on it to keep it light. This gun you're looking at in short action about six pounds. So it's a really nice gun, light, easy to carry, and is really made to fit that woman hunter. I dropped it. Dropped it. Dead. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. I, I didn't think we were gonna see anything and woo! Hey. Y'all are good at hollering. That is uh that point. Good job, Bob. Well, we had barely any light left. We were about to leave. We told the guide to come get us, and then Bob, the cameraman, was like, wait, wait, here they come. So we got back in, and Mr. Coburn called, uh, called him and said, hey. Hey. And I got a shot. Sure did. I've done a lot of hunting in my life, and I've seen a lot of shooting. That's by one of the best I've ever seen. That's 300 yards, just to start to get dark. Mm -hmm. You had no advantages at all. What a great shot. Thank you. My name is Maddie Warren and you're watching The High Road with Keith Warren, my daddy. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Gamo Precision Air Rifles. Supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%. Optics Planet. Keith Warren's Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. The best value in Texas trophy deer hunting and Grave Digger Broadheads by No Limit Archery. Watch The High Road in HD at highroadhunting.com. Hi, this is Aaron from opticsplanet.com and you're watching The High Road with Keith Warren.
Springtime is a great time to be outdoors. I mean, I, I call it it's when uh, Mother Nature has her Sunday best on. I mean, the wildflowers are out and the birds are chirping and it's turkey season. It's a time that I reflect back to, uh, to turkey hunts of yesterday. And one of my most memorable turkey hunts is when my son Colton went on his first turkey hunt where he actually got to bag a bird. Now that hunt happened many, many years ago and we actually shot it for a show that we did back then. And taking Colton was my good friend, Scott Bennett. I call him Scotty B. Scott is a, a big guy. He's got a big heart. And uh, I'll tell you what, he can talk nasty to the turkeys. And he wound up, he took Colton out and got Colton hooked on turkey hunting like nothing I've ever seen before. Eight years old, first Rio Grande. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Good job, brother. I love you. Colton, for years and years, wound up telling his little sister Maddie about turkey hunting. And he got Maddie all jacked up, and so what better way to introduce Maddie to turkey hunting than getting my buddy Scotty B to take her? And that's what we did on this trip. You know, I've always really wanted to go turkey hunting and then my daddy told me that he was going to take me and he told me the week and I just happened to have school off so he probably planned it and he told me Scotty B was going to come. I was so excited because he took Colton turkey hunting for the first time and I always hear how he's the best caller I'll ever hear and how he cooks the best and I'm, I'm just so happy he got to come and when it's all said and done I wouldn't ask for anyone else besides him and my dad and Bob to be here. See those gobblers, Maddie? Yeah, I do. See that hand to the right? Mm -hmm. See her fluffing her wings? Mm -hmm. She just got bred. Okay. And she's going to go ahead and leave, and then the other hands are to the left about 40 yards. Oh, yeah, See she's how leaving she's now. leaving so fast? Yeah. She's done. And they'll fall over for a minute. And then they'll turn around to the left and look for those other hands, and they'll turn around and start following those hands because she's done. Yeah. She's going to go nest now. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Reconix Game Cameras, Savage Arms, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, Optics Planet, Nature Blinds, and Jardin Consumer Solutions, makers of the Game Saver. Very pretty country. I heard a lot about turkey hunting, but I never expected it would feel this good. Waking up early, I hate it, but then when you're under your tree and you hear the birds gobbling all around you, it's amazing and it just feels so peaceful. I wish most kids got to feel this too. <laughs> All right, number eight, we didn't strike anything here. We've got another good spot. We just gotta keep going and be persistent. It's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen, Maddie. All right, okay. you ready? Yeah. 
You know, there's a lot of things to expect when turkey hunting, but a big thing for rookies to know is that you have to be very persistent. This was our ninth setup, and to be honest, I wasn't very positive, but then I heard that gobble, and I was filled with wanting to be persistent and wanting to be patient at all. It's all worth it in the end. Yes! Oh, oh my god! That was the most nerve-wracking thing of my life. <gasps> that was awesome. Well, we've been running and gunning all day and we struck this bird up after a little while and oh my gosh, we heard him about 400 yards out. So we got all undercover and then he comes up behind us and he's probably 10 feet behind Scotty B in gobbles and gobbles and y'all are like, do not move. And then all of a sudden, right behind me, I hear, and he's strutting. And I, I just came uncorked, it scared the life out of me. But he came right behind us and then right to the side of me and then I got a shot and I, I gotta say, turkey hunting is unlike anything I've ever done and I love it because it's so challenging and you never know what to expect. They come up behind you or they're far away, you gotta be really careful and I love it. Well, Maddie, you know your dad and I are really good friends. Mm -hmm. 13 years ago, I called Colton's, your brother's first bird in for him. And when we did that in Texas, we said, whenever you get old enough, we're gonna do it for you. And I just flew down here from Missouri and did it for you. So now I've done it for Colton and you. Um, and it, it was, it's actually a dream come true for me just to do that. It's very special. Yeah. Very, very special. Well, thank you. I'm so happy you came. Tannerite brand, binary exploding rifle targets presents viewer feedback. Calvin from Ohio writes, Mr. Keith, you've got a heaping bunch of common sense. I wish more folks could talk about the kind of tough issues facing hunters like you do. My question is, why do you talk about subjects that will make some folks mad? Good question, Calvin. The reason why I talk about it, because somebody's got to talk about it. I mean, there are so many issues facing hunters today, facing all hunters, that I think that the, the big thing that I see is that hunters need to realize, you know what, there's not that many of us in the grand scheme of things. And we need to unite. We need to, to respect one another and appreciate the fact that we do have hunters. You know, we've got high fencers against low fencers and uh, private property owners against uh, public property owners. I mean, there's just, there's just so many different problems that hunters have. And I think I don't want to be like the rest of the guys and just not address issues that really need to be brought up and for people to talk about around the campfire. And that's the reason why I do it. I want to stimulate somebody's mind. I want them to start thinking that, wait a minute, how can we make hunting? How can we make the world a better place? And I think that we can make the world a better place by talking about issues. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Burt Coyotes, Luminock, and Luminaros. Shadow Hunter, your total comfort hunting blind. Elevators, your easy way up. Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%. And BSA Optics.
That was the most nerve-wracking thing of my life. So it's spring break, and I have a surprise for Maddie. All right, she wound up, I mean, she's exhausted. Right now, she is in taking a nap. Anybody who ever turkey hunts, you know turkey hunting can be very, very exhausting. Up early, the bed late, I mean, you're walking around, uh, you're always on the edge of your seat, and, and it's fun, but she has no idea what we're fixing to do. She's gonna need to take a nap because we're changing gears and we're gonna get with the, uh, well, we're gonna get with a buddy of mine, Randy. And Randy does some night hog hunts and we're gonna go out tonight and see if we can get her real close to hog and put him to sleep once and for all. All right, this is the last night of Maddie's spring break, and we're gonna go pig hunting with this guy right here, Randy. And Randy's got a, he's a partner with a guy uh, by the name of Gerald Holliman. Randy has got a, they've got a company called Night Hogs, and they're into eliminating feral hogs at night. They got all the equipment. Uh, I'll let you spray yourself down, and then after you do so, I want you to tell them what, uh, what you think tonight's gonna hold. I mean, with the conditions the way it is. I think the conditions are great. We've got a, a dark, dark moon tonight. It's just about dark now. We've already spotted some hogs out here in the field. We're fixing to head in and see if we can get a stalk on them before it gets dark. But then once it does get dark, we'll continue to get around the property. And, and uh, I think we're gonna have a good night. This property's got lots of hogs. We're gonna see if we can't get several. I dropped him. That was incredible. I've always wanted to shoot a big old spotted hog and that one was me. He kept chasing all the other ones off. I like shooting the main ones. Good job. This is the coolest thing I have ever done besides turkey hunting. Like these two things, I mean, you can't beat these two things I did this spring break and I am so thankful I got to do them. Well, we just got here and this is my big first pig and uh, well first pig with night vision and it's huge. Yeah, she's a big old sow. Yeah. 150, 160 mm -hmm. pounds. We have literally been here 15 minutes. Yeah. We just shot this hog. Um, normally our hunts run about three and a half hours. We have no limit on the number of hogs that you can kill, no trophy fees. It depends on how many hogs we can find. We've been here literally 15 or 20 yeah. minutes. We've shot this big old sow. We're gonna get her recovered and loaded up and we're gonna head out and see if we can't get another one here pretty quick. I dropped another one. Oh Just my gosh, this is so awesome. This is so cool. Dead hog. This is the best spring break I've ever had. Like I've never been able to go on this many hunts with, with my dad and then with Bob and have fun. Now I get to do this after a turkey hunt. Well, I'm glad I'm here with you. This has yeah. been just really, really fun. This was the best spring break I could ask for. I started out shooting black bucks, then I got to go on a hunt for turkeys and that was amazing. And now I'm here and I just got to go on a night vision hog hunt and use these cool binoculars that have night vision and then you also use this cool gun it's a 44 magnum ruger and it has a night vision scope and everything and it's in integrally suppressed yes it's Very integrally quiet. suppressed look how big the muzzle is it's awesome and thank you so much this is the second hog i shot dropped him brain shot it's been fun yeah it's been what 15 or 20 minutes since mm -hmm. we shot the other one uh, this is probably a 160, 170 pound boar. Jeez. Uh, had no idea we were here, shot it at 35 yards. Yeah, my mom's gonna be happy though because we need some meat, we're running low. <laughs> <laughs> but she won't go hungry this Yeah. <laughs> Coon right beside us. Got a little coon. 
Oh, he's big, never mind. <laughs> I think he thinks we're friends. Yeah, maybe he wants to be on my spring break list. The High Road with Keith Warren has been brought to you in part by Diamond Down Thermal Gear, the world's most effective thermal apparel for hunting. Comal Taxidermy Studio of New Braunfels, Texas is proud to be the exclusive taxidermy studio for Keith Warren and The High Road.